Let's upgrade this broom sweeper. I love this broom sweeper. For today's video, we're gonna get some gameplay with the new mythic outlander, Ragnarok. The way that I got him was from the event store and he was on sale for 3200 gold. And we are gonna run through his perks, but first I wanna show what he looks like when you evolve him. So when you first purchase Ragnarok, this is what he's gonna look like. After you evolve him once, this is what he's gonna look like. As you can see, it looks like his beard grew and his hair grew a little bit. And it also looks like he has some chest and shoulder armor. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at him after you evolve him twice. Oh, looks like he got the helmet. So you're gonna get this cool skull looking helmet after you evolve him twice. And that's what it looks like. All right, so let's check and see how he looks after you evolve him three times. It looks like they added a cape after the third evolution. And that's what that cape looks like. All right, let's see what's been added after the fourth evolution. Let's go ahead and zoom out. Okay, so it sort of looks like his horns and his eyes have a blue glow to it after you evolve him to five stars. So yeah, now that we have him maxed out at level 50, uh, this is what the entire outfit looks like once you have Ragnarok fully maxed out. Anyways, his three main abilities are Shock Tower, Seismic Impact, which is the new ability, as well as Anti-Material Charge. He also has Focus Acquisition, as well as Loot Llama, so you'll be able to pick up those Llama Fragments around the map. His Shock Tower is going to cost 30 energy, and the cooldown is 20 seconds. And the Shock Tower can also stun large enemies after multiple hits. And you can hold up to a total of 25 Charge Fragments and 1 Llama Fragment. His Seismic Impact is going to cost 25 energy, and the cooldown is 9 seconds. And this Seismic Impact is going to do energy damage in a 2 tile line. We'll be sure to show some examples of that. He also has Fault Line, which is one of the new perks, and that's going to reduce the cooldown for Seismic Impact by 6 seconds. He also has Sustained Impact, which is another new perk, and that's going to reduce the stamina cost for Seismic Impact. He also has Long Arm of the Law, which is going to increase the travel distance of Antimaterial Charge. He also has Fist of the Moon, which is going to reduce the cooldown of Antimaterial Charge. And these two perks, Long Arm of the Law and Fist of the South Moon, are both going to help you get more resources faster using your Antimaterial Charge. And he also has Charged Fist, which is gonna help you do more damage whenever you charge up your anti-material charge. He also has in the zone, which is gonna help you do a little bit more damage with your pickaxe and destroy stuff a little bit quicker. And he also has return to cinder, which is another new perk. And that's gonna make your seismic impact return to its original impact location. And again, we'll be sure to show an example of that. And he also has iron knuckles, which is gonna increase the amount of damage you do with your anti-material charge. So yeah, it looks like most of his perks center around the anti-material charge as well as his new seismic impact ability. Anyways, at the very bottom it says the Ground Quaking Harbinger of Fate. He also has a couple of squad bonuses. His support squad bonus is called Punchy, which increases your blunt melee weapon damage and impact. And he also has your move creep for a tactical squad bonus, which is gonna make your decoy periodically damage enemies within its attraction radius. So if you're playing with a constructor and you want your decoy to do a little bit of extra damage, then you can put Ragnarok in your tactical slot. Anyways, I think the loadout we're gonna use is Fragment Flurry Jess in our support slot, because again, his seismic impact ability does energy damage, and she has a squad bonus that increases your energy damage. And we have the Gun Blazer in our tactical slot, so our loot llamas can drop ammo. All right, so the mission we're gonna do is this level 88 ride the lightning group mission that way we'll still have level 100 husk during the defense and cookies is going to be helping us out all right you ready cookies <laughs> smile and then go <laughs> okay i'm ready let's go <laughs> <laughs> what? What? i see you reach level 60 hell yeah pucho damn I now need you to help me get up to 70. Well, you know those things that clean the wind, the, the windshield? What do you call those? Um, windshield wipers? Crap. Oh, cookies, yeah, wait, wipers, no, cookies, yeah. come here. No. What? <gasps> oh my God. For those who are new here, um, fork knife is me and cookies thing. We came up with this. This is our truck, mm. damn it. This is ours. Hell yeah! Fork night all day! We invented this truck! Oh, oh shit! Oh, oh, oh shit! <laughs> Cookie's always trying to 1v1 a gunslinger. <laughs> That's what he do. Hold on, we, we, we're gonna have to get back on this fork knife truck though, man. I'm not done with this. Hold on. Alright, so for those who are new here, I'm gonna go ahead and do a quick flashback. 
Don't f***ing start. For what? I'm trying to buy a fork knife here. Trying to buy what? I'm trying to buy a fork knife. <laughs> what? All right, man. Buy a fork knife. I'm gonna do it right now, Dad. Where's my wallet? Awesome. Is the flashback over? <laughs> Is it over? All right. So, as you can see, me and Cookies are the originators of the fork knife. We invented. Wait. Oh, yeah. oh, oh man. Weird. Well, well, yeah, y'all get the idea. There you have it, people. Fork knife truck origins came from me and cookies. Oh, yep. But you know one thing I noticed about the fork knife truck? What? They used the same fork knife symbol that we put in the video. Because remember I put a fork and a <gasps> knife over it? Uh-huh. So they used the oh, same symbol and put the same thing on the truck. I kind of want to test out seismic impact ah! on this level 88 energy smasher. And we're also going to test out the anti-material charge. So I'm going to go ahead and use it real quick. And you see it goes forward two tiles, then it comes back. It did about 25% damage. And let's go ahead and use our charged fist. Uh, looks like we almost took away half his health using one seismic impact and one charged fist. Let's go ahead and do it again. Let's see if we can kill him this time. Nope, almost. Alright, we'll try it one more time. Here we go. Let's charge it and get rid of him. So yeah, that's what his seismic impact and antimaterial charge look like against the level 88 elemental smasher. Uh, one thing I did want to point out in regards to his seismic impact is that it does not force the propane tanks to explode, as you see with this one right here. So if you see a exploder walking through your tunnel or propane tanks laying inside of your tunnel, uh, you can go ahead and use your seismic ability, and it's not going to make that propane tank explode. Does he have like a deep voice? Does it say anything? No, well, he does. <sighs> all he says is. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> That's all he says. Like, he doesn't have any voice dialogue whatsoever. It's okay. just. <sighs> okay, so he's just. A <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> That's all I've heard him say so far. Well, me and the Smasher fell off the map at the same time when he pushed me. Wow. How y'all both real fall real. off the map? I don't even know, man. He just bumped into me and we just fell. Alright, I'm ready, man. I like those horns, though. I put the horny in Hornet's Nest. Ah, he got that for me. He <laughs> put the horn in the Hornet's Nest looking at Oh, wait, they glow? Alright, here we go, people. Uh, we're Let's about to this. start the first wave. I don't know what kind of element we're gonna get. Cookie said it was nature, but ain't no telling. Ain't no telling. All right, here we go, people. Here goes the first wave. It uh, does contain nature enemies. Yes. Enemy so we're gonna have to use fire weapons, and it doesn't matter which weapons you use when you're playing with uh, Ragnarok because he doesn't have any perks that help buff any type of weapon. So. Uh, you can use any type of weapon you want to. And we're going to go ahead and use this quad launcher for now. And we're also going to try to use our abilities. Wait, is our defender down already? Oh yep, my goodness. he's already down. Oh Come on now, Uncle. There's the seismic impact ability. Have you seen that yet? Ooh, look uh, I have to see that again. I didn't see it quite well. Alright, let's use it on the other side. I think we got smashes on the other side. Yep. Alright, let's, let's, let's see it. Oh, oh my goodness! I also like how you can punch him. Oh, we got two smashers over here, cookies. Yeah, I know, I know, I'm doing. I'm trying to out. go ahead and punch him again. Uh, I should probably charge it next time because it does way more damage. Yeah, I need some help. Let's go ahead and charge it. I think he broke through one of the walls. Yep, they broke through one of the walls, cookie. Yeah, they did. I'm on this. It, it, yeah, it's in this side right here. All right, perfect. We got him. Our defender's down again. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, the blaster almost got me, Cookies. Wow. Be careful, man. Be careful. He almost got me. Uh, Here's his shock tower. Let's go ahead and look and see how long it lasts. As you see, it can also stun larger enemies. We were able to stun that blaster right there. 
We gotta rebuild, man. We gotta, we gotta another smash in here. They broke in. Uh, where at? Where at? Uh, on the north side. On the north side to the east. All right, here I come. Oh, I see him. Yeah, I, I got more people oh, my right now. Yep. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, we sh we probably shouldn't be building with metal, but we'll go replace those with metal for now. I'll upgrade it. No worries. I thought I used a turret. What's going on here? And we also need to give Grandpa a sniper. We'll do it after this wave, though. We only got 40 seconds left. I kind of want to use my abilities again. Here we go. The the main thing I like about his seismic impact is that uh, it doesn't make propane tanks explode. So even if you have a bunch laying in your uh, tunnel. Oh, we got another smasher coming. Oh my goodness. I know, I know. I'm trying to break to everything. Yep, they broke everything here. Or if you have exploders walking in your tunnel, um, it's still not going to make those propane tanks explode. So that's one of the main things I like about his seismic impact ability. You can use them in tunnels, whether it has propane tanks in them or not. All right, so we're giving Grandpa a new sniper. Did you know Grandpa is a former Navy SEAL with over a thousand confirmed kills? Looking to snipe some bad guys. <laughs> All right, you ready? Uh, yep, just about. Yep, we're starting. Here we go. Okay. Uh, it contains nature, nature enemies again. Yep. Use Got fire it. weapons. Yeah. Oh my God, there's so many over here. Here I go. And the cooldown for your shock tower is. 14 seconds when you do have a charge fragment and we'll check it out here in a second and see what the cooldown is without a charge fragment I'm gonna go ahead and use my first uh, turret go ahead and save yours that first one should hold you over got it we got a smasher coming in anyone I see him oh and he broke through yeah I'm going in there right now I'm all right so the cooldown for the shock tower without a charge fragment was 20 seconds. Let's go ahead and replace this wall real quick. I don't know how they broke through. Oh my! Uh, how are you doing oh over there? Oh my god! I fell. I fell. I fell. Hold on. Hold on. I didn't know. You're good. You're yeah, good. Yeah, I'm, I'm good. Yep. I'm good now. We got you. Whoa! I'm gonna throw up another turret. I'm gonna throw up a. Should I throw up a slow field? I think I should throw up a slow field, huh? Enemy uh, yeah, down. you can. Uh, I'm yeah. doing it right now because like. Whoa, I'm down again. What the? What's going on here? Okay, hold on. I'm going to revive myself real quick. No worries. Don't worry, don't worry. Alright, I'm going to try to get rid of the smashers, man. Come on, come on. And what? No lives remaining? Tower. Wait, wait. I don't get any lives anymore? Wait, I can pick you up. Hold on. Let me just use my turret and close this off real quick. Alright, here I come. It says that I don't have any lives. Like, I, didn't, I haven't even used my lives. Uh, oh, no. Don't die. Oh, my goodness. No health. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah, Pick run away, run away, run away. Here, man. Yep. Where you at? Where you at? Yeah, I'm right here. I'm right here. I'm on top of the, the healing pad. I got you. I'm right here. I'm right here. Oh, my goodness. Come on, healing pad. Heal me. I don't have a adrenaline rush either. Uh, good news is they're all coming from this one direction. So, that's good. Do you have a turret? Ah, uh, yes. Oh, man. Oh, oh man. On, oh, on. no. Please don't die. I, oh, my God. I fell. I'm about to fall. Uh, if you can replace the walls, that would be awesome. Oh, and I'm out. Oh, lost durability on my first plot launcher. Let's go ahead and use our ability. I keep forgetting to use it. I think we're good. I think we're good. Need to use my anti-material charge too. Oh well, that was a waste. I'm under attack. Yep, just keep upgrading walls. How you doing over there? These lobbers are like really doing damage. My apologies. Uh, yeah, I'm still, I'm still here. Um, uh, we only I got a minute left. Real quick. I still got a smasher coming in. Yep, I see him. Got it. Use another shock tower. Got. Whoa, 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 my health is going, my health is a little low. Sorry, sorry, sorry. It's all right. Yep. Run on the, uh, healing pad. Uh, only 40 seconds. We got this, cookies. Oh, we have no we more healing pads, though. No more healing pads. I can lay down another one. 
Damn that hurt. Hold on, hold on. Let me, right. let me take out these guys real quick. Get some buzzing bees. The annoying part is the buzzing bees. Oh, yep, there we go. I'm down. Wow. Wow. How dumb we is that? Okay. We got it. Hold on. I'm going to knock him out. I'm going to punch him. Oh. What are you, a falcon punch or something? <laughs> hey. Dude. Oh, wait. They broke in over here, Cookie. Oh, my goodness. I'm they going really in. I'm going broke in. in over here. I'm going in. I'm going in. I'm going in. All right, here we go. We got it. I think we did it, man. Yeah, we're good. We're, yeah, we're good. We're good. We're good. Also, you can use the shock tower to stop the smashes from charging at you, but I forgot to show an example of that. But yeah, that'll do it for our first Ragnarok gameplay. Probably one of the coolest skins in Save the World, in my opinion. I actually do like his new seismic impact ability. And the main thing I like about it is that it doesn't cause propane tanks to explode. His anti-material charge is really good for getting resources. And it's also good for doing damage against Husk. It doesn't really have any perks in regards to his shock tower. So that's not really one of his best abilities. Anyways, that'll do it for this one. Let us know what you think about Ragnarok in the comments below. Big shout out to Cookies for helping us out. And thanks for watching.